well, how do you do, Becker? We did a live video of this, and I saved just enough out of this big bottle, 1.09 fluid ounces, <laughs> just to do a do a short video for you know for my YouTube. 6.7 percent, 30 IBUs. Um, oh gosh, I had the hops for the other one. Uh, Herzbrecher, Liberty, and Aramis, I believe, are the hops that uses pale ale, uh, six row. A corn and oats as uh, Urban Chestnut, Urban King, a collaboration with Sun King Brewery. <laughs> Took me half the video to realize that's what I was doing. <laughs> Anyways, um, or Extra Cream Lager, uh, a collaboration with Urban Chestnut and Sun King. Here I am at the tail end of it, so I know what I'm going to get. Uh, the, the aromas are very nice. You do feel a lot of that malt. You feel some herbal hop notes. It's put together very well. It's very enjoyable. I've only had one beer from Sun King, uh, but that experience was very pleasant. I haven't had anything bad from them, I'll just say. <laughs> and one really damn fine IPA, that I'll tell you. I think it was, what was it, Osiris maybe? Osiris IPA or something? It was a pale ale. Who can remember now? That was four years ago after, <laughs> three years ago. Who could count now, man? Uh, so anyways, I'm um, having this one. Actually, I got this really cold, and I tried to start the video up while it was cold, but I kept having technical difficulties. So it warmed up before I could do much to it, uh, could do the, get the video done. I did part of the other video, or I did the other video, but now it's warmed up. And i got to be honest with you, I mean, even at the temp it is now, which is probably close to 50, it's 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 uh, actually it has become more aromatic ha as it has warmed, and that's the difference between a beer like this and say, oh, of course, this is an extra cream lager and not a cream ale. However, um, comparing it to macro versions of a cream ale, when those things get above forty, they start to get a little harsh. This thing it, it actually smooths out a little bit, and it's damn smooth to start with. Uh, the uh, mouthfeel, actually, the texture uh, might feel a little thicker, but but there there are no harsh aromas or flavors. In fact, like I said, I mean it really becomes more aromatic the more it warms up, in a very very pleasant way. Uh, just out of curiosity, I picked up a very cheap, you know, uh, corn syrup macro lager the other day that I don't want to mention the name right now. Oh, yeah, what the hell, I will mention. <laughs> it was the Ice House 6.9%. That thing was brutal. I mean, it, once it got, uh, you know, once it got above 34 degrees, <laughs> it was harsh, man. And here I got this one probably about 50-ish now, and it's still brilliant. In some ways, it's even better than when it's cold. It does feel a little crisper uh, cold, uh, as, as most beers will. But again, the, the, the aromatics really pop out as it warms. And the flavors really come together. It's put together very nice. I love Urban Chestnut. They've been good to me out there. I've been to both brewery locations. Or I've been to two out of three, I guess I should say. I've been to both locations in St. Louis. I haven't made it to Bavaria yet, but I really, really want to. I damn near sell my left nut to get out there. <laughs> I really would. Uh, uh, just to see that brewery out there. Uh, so there you go. If you can ever find this in your neck of the woods, you should pick it up. This was part of a mix pack. Again, I didn't realize when I first started the live video that all four beers are a collaboration with another brewery. So there you go. Hey, I am kind of beer whisperer, <laughs> prolific beer drinker, beer evangelist, purveyor of wisdom, and all around good guy. Cut!